Hello, my name is Alan Pryor. I'm the treasurer of the No on Major L campaign. There are plenty of important reasons why you should oppose the West Davis Active Adult Community Project. Number one, this development is a 75-acre conversion of productive farmland into a sprawling development reminiscent of the 1960s. It is a sea of single-story, single-family homes on average 5,000 square foot lots. Except for four acres of proposed low-income housing stuck right on Covell, it has almost no density or diversity of building types. This problem was recognized by the Sierra Club, who officially endorsed the No on Measure L campaign and opposed this project as unplanned, sprawling development. Number two, this project puts seniors on the far edge of town in a segregated community with poor connectivity. Our seniors should be integrated into our neighborhoods as a valued part of an inclusive neighborhood and not warehoused elsewhere. Number three, this development does not meet our city's real demographic needs for more diverse and affordable housing for both seniors and working families of moderate income. Let's face it, with selling prices for most of the homes at $700,000 or more, the only way your poor old mom is going to be able to come to Davis and live at this development is if she's a millionaire. Right now, every day we are bringing in 650 kids a day into Davis just to keep our schools filled. What we need in Davis is affordable senior and family housing, not a luxury Del Webb-like community dot gobbling up our farmland. Number four, the project opens up the entire northwest quadrant of the city to the north of East Covell to speculative piecemeal development with no overall comprehensive master plan for the area whatsoever. Folks, this is a developer's camel sticking its nose under the city's tent edge, and it's no way to plan a modern, sustainable urban environment for Davis. Number five, the developers taking care of our own Davis-based buyers program is inherently exclusionary. Essentially, what this program does is say that you can't buy there unless you're already living in Davis or connected in some close way to the city, such as you work here or have kids living here. So if you're a black couple from South Sac or a Hispanic couple in Woodland and you've worked hard all your lives and saved and saved and finally your kids are grown and off on their own and you'd like to move to a retirement community but in the area to be near the family and that new one over there in Davis looks pretty nice, oh wait, you can't. You don't live in Davis already or have a pre-existing relationship, sorry. A community is rich and made more vibrant and resilient by the diversity of its citizens. Regionally, Davis has been the least racially diverse city for many decades. Our population is also by far the oldest and the most wealthy in terms of income. The taking care of our own Davis Buyers Program exacerbates all of these demographic imbalances in Davis. Number six, the city has granted the developer massive giveaways and subsidies by reducing project impact fees by over $3.4 million compared to fees normally charged to new developments. That's $3.4 million is going into the developer's pockets and not being used for city services. Number seven, the city projects a positive annual return to city coffers as a result of build out of this project. However, this estimate is based on accounting gimmicks that assume unsubstantiated lower costs for providing basic city services to the project. One member of the city's own Finance and Budget Commission estimates that when more realistic assumptions are used, the city will end up losing more than $150,000 a year. Number eight, other than the 4.25 acre minimum land donation on which someone else will build additional low income housing required for this project, the developer is not contributing any money to the actual construction costs for the low income units, as has every other major development in town for the last decade. Instead, the developer is relying completely on possible future availability of government grants to build the units. Thus, there is no guarantee that these needed low-income units will ever be built. For all of these reasons and more, please vote no on Major L. Let's send this project back to the developer and demand a project that meets the real needs and reflects the true values of Davis. Thank you.